typically takes you the longest amount of time in your commute? Uh, I'll probably say the parking, believe it or not. Even like you get there, you think you're there? Nah, man. You gotta find a spot. <laughs> it's not cool. It takes forever sometimes, especially when you get there, I don't know, like uh, maybe noon to two. Game over, man. It's a wrap. Is the issue that there's just never spots when you get there in the morning, or? Well, I mean, there's spots, but a lot of the times, you know, all the good spots are taken up right away, like closer to the campus. But if you get there too late, you know, you gotta decide. You're gonna be a settler, you're gonna be a stalker. Settling, you gotta park like a million miles away. You're always gonna get late. But then you see the one guy come in with his backpack from the uh, school to the parking lot, you're like, I'm gonna follow this guy. You roll down your window. Hey man, you leaving? You leaving, man? And he goes, oh yeah, yeah, follow me. Some of these jokers though, they don't know where their car is or they're just messing with you. And you're going around for, for minutes and minutes. So you gotta be careful though. Looks pretty full today. Hopefully I can find a spot pretty quick. Okay, well, I got five minutes for a 15 minute walk. Freaking parking. The day we followed you, you were actually 12 minutes late to class mm -hmm. because you couldn't find a spot. Is that a problem that you typically run into? Yeah, more often than not. Yeah? Yeah. Do you feel that that's a problem that other students have? Mm. Has parking at UB ever taken so long that it's made you late to class? <laughs> yeah, pretty much like three like times yeah. a week at least. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, if, even if I do get a spot, I have to park so far away that it takes at least 10 to 20 minutes just to walk to my class. It has only when you come later in the day. Like if you come after about 10 o'clock, it starts to get bad. And uh, yeah, I was going to a bio class, looked at Hochstetter, and I just went all the way down. I was probably like 15 minutes late for class. Have you tried talking to the director of parking yet? In terms of parking here at UB, how efficient would you say the current setup is for students? I feel our operation is efficient. Uh, we, we, we're, we're comfortable with, with what our limitations are um, and communicating those limitations and the alternatives is kind of our, what we look to do to, to effectively manage a large operation. It's a large campus uh, and a large parking operation. Recently, social media, you know, Twitter, Facebook has exploded with comments from students in regards to parking mm -hmm. here at UB. Um, there's now whole pages dedicated to, you know, the struggles that many students feel they face. At Ahart808 tweeted, welcome to the 2014 Fall Hunger Games, AKA finding parking at UB. Do you feel that's a fair comparison? <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I don't feel it's a fair comparison. At UB Problems recently tweeted, I would sell my soul on eBay for a faculty parking pass. Hashtag UB Problems. Do you recommend students selling their souls on eBay for a faculty parking pass? I don't recommend that. It doesn't sound like a fair trade. It really doesn't. How efficient would you say the current setup is for students at UB when it comes to parking? Um, it's not very efficient. Uh, there's just not enough parking spots, a lot of times too far away. Uh, it takes too long to even get to campus from just walking through the parking lot and you get late a lot of the times. So how likely would you say you are to find a parking spot upon arrival when you get to UB? Um, a lot of the times it depends what time you get there. Um, typically when I get there around uh, 10 or 11, it's already gotten pretty packed so it takes a while, it's pretty hard to find something at that time. Now, what would you say is the biggest issue with parking here at UB? Uh, probably just not enough space. I mean, like, that's the biggest issue. I mean, 
Uh, you have to get here like six. Yeah, gotta get here early really in the early. morning. If, if you're in here you at like fast. 11, you're done. <laughs> yeah. Space available. It's not enough. Um, probably having to park far away. Like it can sometimes be a good 10 minute walk. Exactly. If you don't, even if you don't have class like that early in the morning, you have to get here super early just to park. So it kind of makes things like hard to like do things like off campus if you need to. Um, that's been like my major issue. So on this, on the North Campus in particular, there are uh, 12,300 spaces. Uh, close to 1,200 of those are student only. Uh, a little over 6,500 are shared uh, faculty, staff, and students. So uh, on this campus alone, you're at the point where you're you know, approaching 8,000 spaces for, for student parking. Take a look at this map of UB North's campus. The parking lots highlighted in yellow our parking lots shared by both faculty, staff, and students. The parking lots highlighted in red are parking lots set aside for faculty and staff only. And finally, the parking lots highlighted in blue are the only five parking lots set aside for over 19,000 student commuters. And here at North Campus, we have over 30 parking lots. Mm -hmm. How come only five of those parking lots are set aside just for students? Mm. Um, we're bound by uh, union labor management agreements uh, to not impact uh, faculty staff parking uh, without uh, negotiating with them. Uh, and in negotiating with them, they would have to, you know, you kind of, you give something and you get something. And, you know, if, if we, if they were to give us parking somewhere, you know, they would want to get parking somewhere else. Uh, take the stress out of the parking equation. Uh, you know in our environment the, in, at a university, the busiest point of the day is 10 a.m. So right. if you think you're going to get a full parking space at 10 a.m., it, it shouldn't take yeah. very long to realize that you're not going to get it. And that's a reality that you know, part of our role is making sure that our community realizes that reality and, and recognizes what the alternatives are. Um, on this campus, the alternative, the best alternative is the, the Green Line and the Green Line Express from the Center for Tomorrow Lot. Uh, the other are, is our North Campus Shuttle um, on, uh, on the North Campus. So what would you say the solution is then? I have no idea. Uh, build more car parking lots. Uh, more parking lots, I guess. <laughs> Just more, more space. Parking, yeah. Yeah. Probably. There's not really a lot they can do about it because there's so many students that go here and half of us commute. So it's like, where are you going to put all the cars? Some of us are going to have to walk really far. People need to get up earlier and deal with it, I guess. So obviously you feel that there is a problem then with the current setup we have at UB for parking. So what would you say the solution to that problem would be then? I don't know. That's not a really easy thing to you know, answer. You know, there's so many things messed up with parking right now, but something definitely has to be done. Um, something.